I just feel like my head just really hasn't been in a good place lately. And I've probably taken it out on you. And I apologize. Cut Fitness closed down. Eddie's grandma's not doing well. There's been a lot that is just stored in this head. And I'm a person that doesn't deal with my emotions. And then I just explode. But I, I want to get past that. And I want to be in a place where I can trust you, you can trust me, and you can open up to me. Mm -hmm. but I should have been better with my words. And I should have tried to like maybe even break down that wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and maybe it takes this stuff to get there. And those processes, I can understand. I haven't changed my mind about anything with Ryan and Jen. But at Nobu, what, you want to tell me to watch it? It really got bad. I was an asshole. And at this point, I just want her to know that I want her to be happy. I don't want to try to bring her down. I can't keep doing this with her. I want to move forward. I want what's best for you. I really do. I would actually love the opportunity to sit down with Ryan. Ryan would be so open and just start like fresh. So Shannon asked me if Eddie and I wanted to go out on John's boat and then go to a restaurant. And I recommended that you and Ryan go as well. You did? I did. So just, you know what, I just, I really just want a fresh start. I do. I think he would love the opportunity. Nobody's life is perfect. And even though he's made mistakes, I should have never said anything. I want you to know something. You can throw a napkin in my face. You can tell me horrible things. But at the end of the day, I know you. And I'm always going to take care of us and you. I've known Tamara a long time. And our friendship does matter to me. So I will always fight for that friendship. I want to believe so bad that she means it this time. What have you guys been up to? I'm crazed right now because we're, I told you we're at escrow on this place in LA. Yeah. And so, you are. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. You're not moving, moving. Like, no. This is going to no. be, you're going to be there. You'll it's not big enough there. for us to move to. Okay. I was thinking of it more as like a pied de terre for me and Terry. A pied what a what? A pied de terre. Like, like a, a little getaway. Little, little, like a little place to place hang to your hat. A little. <laughs> Terry and I started looking for apartments in LA and happened to find like the most perfect apartment ever. Do we really want that place? A lot of money. It's a lot of money, but I think we'd be happy there. I think it would be good for us. This penthouse represents the first step back to a career in Hollywood. Orange County, sun, surf, sand, amazing. Auditions, not so much. I saw Shannon and John. We went on a double date with them. That's fun. How yeah, was that? Fun. They seem like you're super happy. That's what I thought, too. You think so? You think like they, they seem happy to me? Interesting, Heather, because you've told me the complete opposite, and you've talked sh to Emily and Gina as well. I don't know if Heather has forgotten what she has said in the past, but I want to test her, see how far she'll lie. Eddie did catch him off guard and was like, so do you guys live together? <laughs> and they're both like, no, no. Terry did that to him When are you going to get married? I asked her that, and she said they were waiting on the kids to get out of the house or something. Which I don't completely understand that. <laughs> Why? Wouldn't it be easier if the kids were about to leave to wait? If you, there's a problem, sure. No, just to maybe make it easier, no? I don't know, I've not been in the position, so I really shouldn't speak. I really don't understand what the angle is here. It's not like we sit around talking about Shannon's life all day. Why do you want to know now? And why in front of Jen? Tamara and Shannon are really close again, and Tamara has a big mouth. If I had an opinion on Shannon, you think I'm telling Tamara? Joke's on you, bitch. I've already told her.